the black wool hitch and the doubled black wool hitch. Hello everybody, welcome back. And today's little today's little knot is the simplest of ones. Yes, what you see is what you get. And the other thing is, I'm going to award it one of these only because I very much doubt in this day and age of health and safety you would be allowed to use the black wool hitch. However, if you are a rigger, a slinger, something like that, and if you use this particular hitch, then please drop me a comment down below and tell me about it. Okay, and so let's go on to, I'll show you later on why I think it deserves one of those. Okay, so what you see is what you get. It's a way of attaching a line to a hook for lifting. And so let's get on and let's get knotting. Okay, so here we have our hook on the end of a crane waiting to lift up a load. And <laughs> yeah, I've also done a little bit more research. For those of you who want to know what the different parts of a hook are called, I will put a link in the description and a quick flash up here and you'll be able to see what the parts of a hook are called. Anyway, so here we have our rope line cordage that is attached towards me at the bottom there to something that wants lifting. And to tie the black wall hitch, all we do is we pass the working end of our rope through the actual clear of the hook bring it around the back, so it's going through the clear of the hook, round the back, and then bring it round through the clear of the hook again. And then just pull it up tight, and that's it. Oh, how simple was that? And you might think to yourself, how secure is that? Well, the honest answer is, as I pull on that, and I'm pulling really hard on that, to be honest, it's holding it and in fact I took it out into the garden and I secured it to an object and I was swinging off it and to be honest for that little hitch there it held me firmly in place however here's the big however that's why he appears is that once you, if it's allowed to become loose you can see here now that just by gently pulling on it, it will come undone. However, if you actually tie this, so let's go round through the clear again, around the actual back of the hook, through the clear, so that it passes underneath the standing end, working end there is passing underneath the standing end, pull it up, and then now, I lock, that is locked in place, and no matter how hard I pull on that, it's not shifting. I'm sure at some stage it will slip. So I would say it was probably used in the good old days for lifting lighter loads. So anyway, that is the black, hole, black wall hitch. So let's get on and tie the doubled black, hole, black wall hitch. Right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna tie the double version. And to be honest, I think the double version still gets one of those. Okay, so to tie the double version, what we do is we pass the working end through the clear of our hook here, bring it around, so take enough through to bring it around and pass it underneath, so pass the working end underneath the standing end once and then pull it through like so. Then bring it around the back of the back again and then don't let them cross over. And then when it comes round the back again, pass it underneath everything at this point here and just pull it up tight. And you can see all we've basically done is a couple of turns around our hook. But now, <laughs> the more secure method than the black wall hitch is the double black wall hitch. And now, when I pull on that, we're getting additional security on here. And to be honest, I really am pulling and once again, that is really, really secure. But with this, look, as you can see, as I take the weight off, it's only the actual bending the rope itself that is holding it all in place. However, 
if you've got weight on this, it does appear to hold very, very firmly. So for those of you who remember the dirty tow rope, this comes along the same lines as the dirty tow rope. It's just a quick way of lifting something. But for God's sakes, don't use it if there's a massive heavy load and somebody's underneath it or something like that. Take advice before you tie any knot that I've learned and I'm trying to teach you. So anyway, that is, that was the single and the double black wall hitch. Anyway, once again, hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.